Hello, welcome back. Uh, in the last video, I have asked you a question, uh, how to automate the process and the process was instead of going to uh, browser each time to figure out what is the price, is there any automation tool that can drive the browser instead of a human driving the browser, is there any way that you can automate so that the tool is going to basically put those numbers and, and, and get some um, some output okay so so essentially what I am trying to do I am trying to figure out if any way that I can automate browser then let's try to find out so basically you go to google.com and then so just do a query on browser automation okay it looks like uh, the very fast uh, result is coming out something called selenium web browser automation so let's try to explore what is that so if you click on that and then the very first statement is says that selenium automates browser i think i'm going to probably going to explore a little bit about the documentation and about what is selenium and then see like you know if this tool indeed can help me in automating my browser so that i can basically put this kind of you know origin city destination city some dates and then it's going to give me a a a, a price and then if it can, if, if this tool can compute this you know all this thing and then just give me a in the output which is the minimum of all of this okay so and actually yes selenium can do that okay so essentially the answer to that is that selenium can do that but is this the is this the most efficient of doing that i don't know maybe you can figure out some other way like you know if you know the 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 apis of orbis.com then probably you can write some program that can basically call those apis and get you the number okay but what i want to do i want to use selenium to do the same thing okay and there is a reason for doing that and i hope you are going to get that reason by probably the middle of the course okay so when you are in the midpoint of the course You'll, you'll, you'll come to know why I am trying to do, uh, why I'm going to, um, why I'm going to teaching you Selenium so that it will be helpful for the remaining period of the course. Okay, so remember our course name is Web Application Testing using Selenium. Okay, so I, I probably have given you enough hint why I'm basically uh, trying to focus on Selenium. So Selenium 2.0 is basically a tool set. Okay, so this is a tool set and these tools are come up with three different things the first thing is IDE IDE is called integrated development environment and this IDE is basically some kind of easy to use tool for rapid prototype and the IDE supports record and replay that means in, in, in the recording phase I will teach the tool what to click where to click and what data to give and the, the tool is going to remember that and whenever I'm going to do the replay, then the tool is going to do exactly the same steps, whatever I taught in the recording phase. And that is called record and replay. But the bad thing about this IDE is that it just only work on Firefox browser. Okay, that means if for whatever reason you cannot install Firefox on your computer, then you cannot use this IDE. And also, this IDE cannot do all sort of things that I intend to do okay and I will basically you know show you the bottlenecks of IDE selenium also provides you another set of tool that is called web driver and selenium remote control server so what is web driver and remote control server they are basically a additional tool set with IDE that comes as a part of selenium 2.0 tool sets okay that will help you to do something that cannot be done in IDE so essentially this set of tools provides you awesome awesome features okay I just just put this bullet point here because I can't really explain you what awesome features is provide you but during the course I will tell you what IDE cannot do and how WebDriver is going to help you in achieving those things. And then you realize the power of WebDriver or remote control server. Okay. And also this is given to an API driven. It gives you a set of APIs or application programming interfaces. 
so that you can write a Java program or a PHP program or a Perl program or a Python program okay and then you call those APIs and that API is going to give you those awesome features so and also it can support along with Firefox browser it can support on Internet Explorer it can support on Chrome browser it can also support Safari browser okay so basically more browser support okay and one thing that I want to mention you that both web driver and remote control server solves the same problem but remote control server was the old one and if you are starting a new project right now basically the best thing will be to do web driver and this web remote control server is in maintenance mode and if you if you find out some issues then probably they will not going to solve your problem whereas if you use web driver then along with the current features you are also going to get the newer features because web driver is the one selenium queue is maintaining on right now okay and the third thing the selenium gives you is selenium grid and grid is going to help you to run test in a parallel way okay so if you want to run multiple test in a, in a, in a parallel uh, manner then the grid is going to help you okay so here is the thing that selenium 2.0 tool sets consist of these kind of things these categories of tools IDE web driver or selenium grid and what we're going to do we're going to to try to solve our problem our problem is to automate our travel planner okay so while automating our travel planner we will learn from IDE we go all the way to selenium grid and solve that problem by end of this part one of the course you should be knowing enough of selenium 